Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. We're doing a new build starting right now. Um, I, I really wanted to finish up that violin build, but I'm waiting on some chisels to come in to finish the peg box. And uh, you know that the uh, violins are a lot of work. So we'll get to the end of that violin series here pretty soon. Um, hopefully not too long. In the meantime, we finished up that last build for that another Selmer guitar. So the Selmer guitar is a really interesting acoustic guitar. Um, I've been wanting to do an acoustic guitar build series for this channel anyways, so this is the perfect time. Um, if you look back through my um, old videos, you'll find a video of the Selmer build. Um, not just a lot of stills really, and, uh, and me playing the instrument at the end. So I kind of want to do a more in-depth version. Um, that one I did totally by hand. I carved the neck by hand, I bent the sides by hand. We're going to leverage the CNC, right? So. Um, Thanks for all the likes and the follows on those last videos. Um, if you're not checking us out on, on Instagram and Facebook and Patreon, do that. Um, we're gonna have, um, pretty soon actually, I'm gonna have the files for this up on Patreon. So um, $1 a month gets you my Patreon access and you'll be able to download. So far I've got the nickel harpa, um, the mandolin, um, we'll have the violin up there very soon. I'll probably just put that up this week just to get it up there. And then we'll have this Selmer guitar up there too. So a dollar. So you can't beat plans for a dollar. <laughs> so, and that'll be four sets of plans for a dollar in Fusion 360 archive files. So great deal. Um, so check us out, follow us, um, ask some questions, all that stuff. We really like to hear it. So we're building these side bending jigs um, for the Selmer and uh, <laughs> You know, uh, I've gone through a lot of different phases in how I build side bending jigs. You can see I've got a few different series up here. Um, yeah, so in the beginning, I made really detailed side bending jigs. They were really nice out of, you know, like birch ply, um, and I, I spent a lot of money on them, and I would use, you know, aluminum rods or different, all kinds of different hardware, and I'd build clamps to hold the center bout, to pull the center bout down in. <laughs> I do it as simple as possible. So I just cut them out of MDF. This is just a solid, complete MDF frame. Um, I don't plan on building a ton of these. I might build, you know, in the next few years, I might build five of them. So um, this is definitely durable enough to handle that kind of, uh, that kind of load. So um, these are really simple and easy to build. Um, it's all just MDF and glue, which holds surprisingly well. And uh, let's just get right into it. Let's, uh, let's cut these out.
like that, um, let me know what you liked about it, what you didn't like about it. I'd love to hear the comments and the suggestions and the ideas. So thanks for all the likes, thanks for all the follows. Check us out. If you're not subscribed already, click that subscribe button, click that bell, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thank you.